Okay, so on the legs, we're only going to do the deepest parts, the creases. And on the arms, we're only going to do the deepest under crease on that as well. There's lots and lots of creases on these little guys, but we're not going to really worry about those until we get to that layer. We're just trying to get these deepest, darkest ones built up enough so that they're going to build up slowly so that they don't look so cracky and crumbly and full of gunky paint by the time they're ready to start the final details. All right. Okay, the other part of this layer, now that we've done all of our little under creases and nose and everything, we're going to add kind of a watery blue wash. This is made with a little bit of the white, a little bit of this flush color, and a little bit of the vein blue. It's this is we're going to add some modeling to her to make her skin look fair like a redhead skin would. And um, we're going to take our little modeling sponge and we are going to tip up our jar and kind of see it kind of looks almost like a slaty gray color in the camera, but it's actually kind of a baby blue, sky blue color. I'm gonna dip my sponge in that. And there's only a couple layers, I'm not gonna do this everywhere, there's only a couple of layers that really need this, the areas that look really thin. So like right through the forehead and down the temples. You can kind of see it there, mostly just because it's reflecting in the light. We'll do a little bit on the cheek, on the outside of the cheek, and a little bit up over the top of the nose. And it doesn't do too much to the beginning appearance, but as this layer dries because of the white and the cream and the paint, it will... Um, kind of stick out a little bit and make it a little more pale looking. Now on the arms and legs, just down the inside of the arm, which is your thin part of your arm. If you look at your own arms, you can see that your inside of your arm is you can see more blue than you can on the outside. So we're going to emphasize that on this little one. And on the inside of the leg. Last little leg. Okay, so now we're going to let this little one dry, and after she's dry, we're going to go on to our blushing and our details. And so she's almost to the point where you can call her like halfway done. Her details take forever, just as much as all these underlayers do, because you have to be studious and careful not to overdo it and not to. Uh, brush it and make it all blurry but next we'll start with the uh, blushing and the details on her final stages and you can see her already coming to life look already the blue is kind of starting to dry she looks pretty adorable I look forward to after she heats this time we're actually gonna put her eyeballs in before we do any more layers um, so that'll be kind of fun. I'm going to make her have light blue eyes. And I think that will look really cute with her skin tones. So we're going to let her dry. And um, we'll come back after she's all cooked and dry and ready for the next layer. 